Hello students. It looks like I am in charge of this podcast. If you look in your syllabus, you will see that Dr. Austin wrote, no reading assignment, for lecture 8. This is not, strictly speaking, the truth. He should have said that the assignment is embedded in podcast 8b, the enthralling program you are watching at this very minute. In addition to my general brilliance, you will be treated in this podcast to scenes from a very expensive corporate training video on communication skills. From time to time, I will pause the video and ask you a question. You should jot down your answer to that question and then discuss your answers in a bulletin board post. Then, when everybody's answers have been posted, I will come back and tell you what the corporate trainers thought, not that they are necessarily correct. The scenario involves two people who work for an advertising agency. Pila, who is a manager, and Miguel, who is a brilliant though not altogether practical creative artist. Let us have a gander. I just came down the street and I was stopped by three different people. We're a hit. We're a huge hit. I mean, I, I can't believe how, how beautiful place, right? it is. Right, absolutely. Great, I mean, ah, it, it looks right. It, just, it looks exactly... I couldn't even have imagined it. That. Yeah, I saw it. It was great. I'm so... Uh, what do you want to see me about? Okay, well, um, first of all, I wanted to congratulate you. Oh, thanks. Thank I'm you really so much. Happy I called my mom and dad. With your work. So excited. And um, I also want to talk to you a little bit how I, I think for us to organize ourselves a little bit better. Did you see this? Yes, oh, I saw it. I loved it. Of course it. you have. Right? Of course. Sorry. Um, you know, with the few campaigns that you've been working on, there was a tiny complaint hmm? from the client that you went over budget by quite a bit of money. Now, I know and that they weren't told in advance. It was 11 oh, grand over on. budget. Oh, come That's nothing. You know that's nothing. It's a drop in the bucket to these But they people. were upset about it. And you know that we have to... I, oh, hold on. <laughs> Cater a little. I was buzzing. I just. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's Scott and Abby. <laughs> Miguel, I'll, I'll, let's turn I'll, our cell phones I'll off while we're in the meeting, later. if you don't oh mind. Oh my God. Um, no, I'm just kind of on cloud nine still. I know. Still because I know. I, I just can't believe it. I know, but you're busy. I'm busy. So let's. Uh, I just wanted to specify to you that there are certain things that we maybe should be doing that maybe neither of us are doing just to organize ourselves better but to we're, avoid we're being this successful though of I course mean, we're being great no and we're, we're, you're right just listen to me for a second you've seen the plastered walls it's no and that's it's wonderful incredible. the problem is is that i want to avoid in the future going over budget without a client knowing about it and i'm not saying that it's completely your fault it's mine as well i was not looking specifically as to where as to how much money was being spent and how much was going over budget. Hmm? I had no idea about it. About what? About the over budget. We need to have a system. I know perhaps you're too busy, hmm? so listen to me. We need to have a system because... Oh, to yell. I'm sorry, I just... No, I'm not yelling at you, You're just you're getting all. a little snippy and I was just... No, no, no. I'm not trying to be that way at all and I'm sorry. I just got this call from this client and he just freaking out about this Eleven thousand dollars over budget. After we brought threatening the great not to account, pay. We we gave him a great spread. No nobody else could have done that spread. I'm not working for anybody else, and nobody else that's could have done fine, that spread. And they were looking for me, and that's why they came here. Let's just get to how we can solve the problem. You're too busy to deal with how much money you're spending I'm or not busy. spending, and I'm completely excuse me. I'm completely aware of that. So I think. Maybe the best way to do it would have your assistant, would be to have your assistant about once a week, bring me a report on what's, what's being spent on the different campaigns, what? how much of the budget is still left, and I can see when you start going over budget, what? I can give you a call and we can talk about how much over budget you think you will be. You want me to bring in a report? You don't have to do it. Your assistant can do it. You want my assistant to bring in a report? Yes, Miguel, I think it's much more efficient for all of us. If you're starting well, to go over budget... we've got a lot budget, of work to do over there, and... I mean, yes, come on, I know, but the product comes first, and you hire me because I'm an artist, and that's... Right, I that's mean, why I'm not asking you to do it. I'm asking that you give this to your assistant, which is a more appropriate job for her, to file... To no, do I the, need the, her to... The, her to 
done. I, I don't have Miguel, time to watch I can't it. have this. I can't have us going over budget again. I can't have this happening every yeah, time. But you know, look at the campaign. I'm looking look at, at it look and at I love it, rate. but that's not the point. Mm -hmm. The point is, is that I can't have this. Uh, this is not personal against you. This is not criticizing your work at all. This sure, is, sure, whatever. But sure, I get it. This is, needs to be done. Right. So whatever, I got it. Okay. So thanks a lot for coming in, and uh, we'll talk in a couple days, okay? Yeah. Thanks. Yes. All right. Bye. Uh, Pilar? Hi, Miguel. How are you? Can I speak to you for a second? I'm sorry. I know that... Look, I just heard, and you you got to be kidding me, right? Look, Miguel... Uh, I mean, this is a joke, right? Well, no, it's not. Because if it's not, it's, it's really, it's not funny. No, it's, <laughs> just, it's not a joke. Um, I mean... Jezebel decided to go with Jack for the remainder of the campaign. Um, look, uh... Look, listen to me for a second. We discussed this three weeks ago, and... We discussed giving my campaign away three weeks ago? I don't... No, we discussed the changes we needed to make with Jezebel in order for them to be happy with the work. They were happy with the end results, but they weren't happy with how it was being handled. So are you being serious then? You're, you and I discussed it, and I whoa, haven't whoa, seen any change. We didn't discuss me losing the account. Well, at, at the, that point, you, <laughs> they weren't going to take you off the account. But if you had listened to me three weeks ago, maybe this wouldn't have happened. So you're going to take this account I need away you, from me? I can't. I'm not taking it away from you. They did. They don't want you on the account, and I cannot afford to lose them as a client. You have to understand that you need to communicate with me and our clients better because we can avoid this happening. And you're really great at what you do, but you need to, to do better in that sense. What, what would I need to do to... I think that we can take certain steps that for the spring campaign, uh, I can convince Jezebel that uh, things have changed and that to get you back on the account. Okay, like what? What would um, be the best? Okay, I think what we need to start with mm -hmm. is, as I said, a report. I think it, by Friday and let's say Tuesday, we'll sit down and discuss it so, so that I can Friday. take a look at it and... Over the weekend, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so Friday I'll hand you a report or I'll have somebody come in and bring okay, the report great. for sure. Okay, great. And Tuesday we'll meet, let's say, I don't know, 2 o'clock. Okay, Tuesday. Right after lunch. At 2? Yeah. Are we going to make that weekly for a little bit? Or? Yeah, why don't we make that weekly? Okay. And that way um, I can have a good argument for Jezebel in a few months that you're back on the account. In the meantime, focus on the other accounts you have. There's some really great accounts, and there will be some new accounts that will come up. So if we can improve this situation, I think that there won't be any problem. So what did you think? Here are the questions again. Don't forget to go to the bulletin board and give your answers. Then talk amongst yourselves by commenting on other people's answers until you have your three required posts for lecture 8. Ta-ta for now.